Well, Jane Ace is really getting places with her boy protege called Caruso, the 17-year-old orphan with the beautiful tenor voice. She took him to a radio station yesterday, and after hearing him sing, the radio people are putting him on. Tonight's the night, and this episode is in alternating scenes between the Aces bungalow and the radio studio. But first to the Aces, where we find Jane, Mr. Ace, and Marge. Jane is passing out slips of paper. Listen. Here's one for you, dear, and this is yours, Marge. What is it? Uh, Just a minute, I'll tell you. You take this one, Marge. What's this about, Jane? Just a minute, I'll explain it. Just read it first. Read it. Oh, uh, that was certainly a great voice. Well, read it to yourself first, then I'll explain it. Oh, that was certainly a great voice. Are you reading it, Marge? Yes, but I don't understand it. Well, here's what it is. After we hear him sing tonight, we're all going to keep calling the radio station and tell him how much we enjoyed it. Oh, oh so that's I get it the... now. This is the little speech I'm supposed to give over the phone, is that it? Yes, see? Do you get it, dear? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, good, huh? Mm, marvelous. Did, uh, did you think of it? Uh-huh. Uh. Because they told me up there yesterday that they wanted to see how many people called up or wrote in. We're all going to ride in, too. Well, here are three phone calls your boy wonders going to get. Oh, this is more than three. After we all call and read these, then we change papers and call again and read those. Then we change again and vice versa, and so-so and so-so. See? Mm -hmm. Sounds quite complicated, but I think I get the general idea. Well, little woman, you're having a busy night, aren't you? Yes. Uh, Well, I'm his manager. I have to think of things like this. Yes. uh, This is your idea of a quiet evening at home listening to the radio, isn't it? Say, how about tuning in now? It's plenty after, and he goes on at 7.30, doesn't he? Yes, we better turn it on. Now, you all know what you're supposed to do. Yes, Jane, we all know. The minute the program is over, we call up. I'll call first, then you, Marge, then you, dear, then me again, then you, Marge, then you, dear, mm-hmm. then me again, and so-so, and so-so, and we keep changing papers. Wait a minute, Jen, I was just looking this little speech over. How do I know he's 17 years old? What? It says, for a 17-year-old boy, he has the most beautiful voice I ever heard. How would I know he's 17 years old? Oh, yes. Well, I guess that make, make that for a boy, he has the most beautiful voice I ever heard. How's that? Well, you're the boss. Uh, thanks, Marge. Yes, I am. I never thought of that. And I'm supposed to say that was certainly a great voice I just heard over your radio station. I was sitting here reading my paper, not paying attention to the radio, when suddenly I heard him sing, and I just couldn't help but call you up to say how much I loved it and hope he will be on every day. Well, you've got quite a little talk there. Yes, there should be slides with a lecture like this. Uh, uh, just a minute, dear. Can't you read that a little better? better. How do you mean? Well, that part at the finish. And I hope he will be on every day. See? Well, didn't I say that? Yes, but say it like I did, like you mean it, you know, and I hope... Oh, yes, and I hope he will be on every day. Yes, and still. Now I'll remind you. Um, who is that marvelous boy I just heard sing on your radio station? Can I have his picture? I have a book in which I paste all my favorite radio stars' pictures, and I would certainly like to paste him. <laughs> well, you'd like to paste him? Yes, what? his picture. Well, you better say it that way. I'd like to paste his. Paste hey, his? Well, it's the same thing. Well, no. How about this radio? It's getting close to the time, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. I'll do it, dear. Uh, QMA. That's around 82, isn't it? I think so, yes. 82 or is it 83? Uh, somewhere around that, Jane. Well, let me see. 82, 83, 84, 84. Sold to the American Tobacco Company. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm really getting excited about hearing him sing, aren't you? Yes, I'm wondering how you'll come over, too. Uh, it's... What is the matter with this radio? Oh, you better let me do that, Jane. It lights up, but I can't hear anything. Can you? I can hear something, but uh, I don't think that's our boy. Oh, I hope there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I hope not. Is there anything? I don't know. I'll see what I can do. We don't play this often enough to keep it in shape. What was that? I don't know, but don't run out in the street. Don't be frightened, Jane. Well, I am, if we're not going to be able to hear him. We will. Just leave it to me. Uh, Let me take a look at these tubes. Well, now, don't break it, dear. Break it? I'm trying to fix it, if you'll please leave me alone for a minute. Yes, let him do it, Jane. It's five minutes before he goes on. It'll be fair. I hope so. Hey, 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 
better, Mr. Harvey. That was the best rehearsal we've had. Now, on those last few bars, hey, I'd like me, to have uh, you... Are you the boy who's filling in the sustaining spot from 7.30 to quarter of 8? I beg your pardon? Are you supposed to go on at 7.30? Yes, sir. Well, there's been a last-minute booking just come in. Special broadcast from the coast. We're going to have to give them your spot. I, I don't understand. I'm trying to tell you that you're not going on. Not going on? But they told me that... I know. They just sent me in to tell you that you're not going on tonight. Not right away, anyhow. You want to hang around and wait, they might have a spot a little later in the evening. I don't understand it. Now look, young fellow, I don't try to understand this racket either. Now, you're not a commercial program, you're a fill-in. To use the vernacular of the studio, you're a sustaining. Sustaining programs have no priority rights. Now, they've just gotten word that a program's coming in from the coast, so you're canceled. Oh, I see. But they also told me to tell you that you can hang around if you like, and they might shove you in a little later in the evening. Well, all right. Of course I'd like to go on. That's the spirit. Oh, yes. Uh, if they don't put you on tonight, you're to go on tomorrow night at the same time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can we go on rehearsing? Sure. They won't be using this studio tonight, I don't suppose. Thank you. I can stand some more rehearsing. That's the spirit. If they decide to put you on later, I'll let you know in plenty of time. Thank you. Now, Mr. Harvey, I'd like to run over the Italian song again, please. I can. You should never have started monkeying with those two. Well, it wasn't working, was it? Well, it might have if you hadn't decided to spread these things out all over the floor. Where does this wire go? Oh, you know? I don't know. All I know is it's 20 minutes to 8. Is this the aerial, do you think, Jim? That's is? a fine question for a mechanic to ask. I'm no mechanic. I'm only trying to... Out. There you see what you made me do. Will you please leave me alone? Oh, I'm going to turn this noise off. There. Maybe I can think now. Oh, I'm just... isn't this terrible? It's his first radio program. What'll he think? Well, I don't care what he thinks. I was anxious to hear him for my own entertainment. Say, why didn't you think of having this radio looked over today? You were home all day. Oh, I didn't even think of it. I had all these speeches to write and everything. Oh, and our speeches. Now we won't be able to call up and say how much we liked it. Well, I hope he was a great success. How are you coming there, Marconi? Marconi. Oh, I'm coming fine. We'll get the next World Series in great shape, I think. Don't worry about that. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> She'd have thought of calling up a radio man earlier today, but wouldn't have had this trouble. Oh, I know what. What? I just thought of something. Well, it's a fine time to be calling for one now. What good is it now, Jane? The program's over. It's quarter of eight. Uh, don't bother me, Mark. I've got to hurry. But the program's all over. Why didn't you think of that all day? You sit around here making up speeches for us to read over the telephone. That's why we didn't hear him. If you'd only... Hello, have... is this station QMA? Wow. What on earth are you doing? Oh, why, well, who was that marvelous boy I just heard sing on your station? Can I have his picture? I have a book in which I paste all my favorite radio stars' pictures, and I would certainly like to paste him. What now, is? you, Mark. <laughs> Jay, you didn't wait for your answer. What answer? The boy's name. Didn't you ask for it? Oh, yes. Well, I was so excited I didn't say What's it. going on there, anyhow? What are you doing? We're going to call up anyhow. They don't know we didn't hear him. Oh, I see. They don't uh, know. Now, you, Mark, hurry. Okay, anything for a friend. Then when you're through, hurry and hang up. Then you, dear. Oh, I think this is ridiculous. Now, listen, Macaroni, you've fallen up things around here tonight fixing that radio. Now, you do what I say for a change. Oh, I suppose I'm going to get blamed for this whole thing now. The radio wasn't working in the first place. Hello, and... QMA. Hurry, Mark. Come on, dear. Get ready. Oh. I just wanted to say that that young fellow who just sang had the most beautiful voice I ever heard. I'd like to hear him some more sometime. Mark, what? That isn't what I wrote out for you. I know, Jane, but it'll do. Well, if you're going to start making up, okay, okay. if you're next. This is a silly thing. I think I ever... Hurry, dear, and read this just like I wrote it. Don't make up, Jane. Yes, Jane, yes. Well, let me see. When he's through, 
and I'll do it again, only this time I'll read yours, Marge. Oh, but you didn't read yours. This is getting mixed well, up. What difference does it make, Danny? The idea was there, wasn't it? Yes, but I had everything planned just so. And Hello, the... QMA. Certainly enjoyed the kids that just sang. You need more voices like his on your program. There. Dear, that's not the speech. Oh. Did you read this? That was certainly a great voice I just heard over your radio station. I was sitting here reading my paper now. But then that doesn't matter. No. He told him, didn't he? Yes, but if he'd say that was a great voice, I well, heard. Well, now, can I go back to my toys now, Jane? No, you wait. We're making some more calls, aren't we, Jane? Well, I wanted to, but the way you two bawled everything out. Well, go ahead and call up. You can read those speeches yourself. Well, all right. Oh, there it is. Uh, hello, QMA. What? That was certainly a great voice I just heard over your radio Jane. station. I was sitting here reading my paper. Who? What? Oh, hello, Caruso. Uh-oh. You what? What happened? You didn't sing tonight. <laughs> he did. Well, we just called up and told him how wonderful you were. What? Well, it was a good idea anyhow. And maybe Jane will get it to work tomorrow night as her boy wonder goes on his first radio program when next we meet the Easy Aces.